attention, tour managers, DJs, and promoters. Here's 10 things you can do to annoy your VJ. Number one, last minute content. I've probably emailed you several times over the last couple weeks asking you for your content. So when you show up to front of house as we're finishing the set before yours, or even better, right after your artist has started to drop off the content, uh, I fucking hate you. Listen, I understand shit happens, you're on the road, traveling, blah, blah, blah. We'll do our best to get what we can into the show but the chances of that happening decrease rapidly as showtime approaches, as does our ability to put on a good show while downloading, converting, and dropping in all of your content. Just please don't ask me, can I airdrop it to you? Uh, no. I don't VJ off of an iPhone. Jokes aside, VJs often use Windows machines which do not have airdrop. And email often won't work either because Wi-Fi at the gig is either shitty or non-existent. Your 50 gigabytes of content should finish downloading mm, right about the end of your set, which doesn't leave me much time to download and convert it and put it in the show. So if you're gonna drop off your content last minute, please bring a drive. Just don't bring a Mac formatted drive. Once again, most VJs are using Windows PCs these days and most DJs and managers are not. This can create some compatibility issues because each OS has their own proprietary drive formats. If you format your external hard drives and thumb drives as XFAT, both platforms can read them easily and they can handle large file sizes. VJs, just in case, install Mac Drive 10 to your show machine. This will allow your Windows machine to read Mac formatted drives without any issues. That said, please just try to send us a link to the content well in advance of the show. Just please don't send us a WeTransfer or a box link. We transfer links are especially tricky because they can expire. So forwarding along the same link you used week after week eventually won't work. And Box is annoying because it doesn't do bulk downloads well. I prefer Dropbox or Google Drive. Both do pretty well at handling large file sizes, are easy to access, and easy to download. All right, now that we know how to send content, let's talk about the content. Please do not send us JPEG logos, especially color logos on a white background. They look like crap on screen and are really difficult to layer in a nice way with your content. White logos on a black background are acceptable, but logos on an alpha transparent background are preferred. Whatever you do, don't send your logo baked into the content. Having your logo baked into the content really big, stretching across the whole frame, makes it really difficult to resize your content to different shaped and sized screens without cropping that text. And that makes both of us look bad. We have the ability to layer your logo onto any piece of content, so it's best to send us logos separately from backgrounds, so we can resize the background to fill the screen and resize the logo to fit. Logos on a transparent background are easy to work with, but you can make clips with logos in them. Just make sure they're not slapped on top across the whole thing. If they're integrated, moving through the frame or moving from small to large throughout the duration of the clip, they'll be visible at some point during the loop and that's okay. All right, now we've got your content. It's looking pretty good, but there's still a few more things we need to talk about. Let's talk about unnecessarily long loops. Talking to you, Mr. One Hour Premix. If you give us a long clip that's just repeating a short sequence over and over and over again, just send us that sequence. We can loop content really easily, so the visual doesn't need to be that long. 
It saves time, disk space, processing power. This is especially true if you give us a long clip that has strobes and flashes and all these different energy levels baked into the clip, but it doesn't match what you're doing in your set. It would be better to send us all of the pieces and have the VJ mix all those pieces together live at the appropriate times. Let us do our job and mix our content. Speaking of which, tour managers, don't be a backseat driver. Listen, we understand you want your show to go a certain way, but there are better ways to achieve that. You can give us show notes in advance or hire a dedicated fucking VJ. We prep for our shows in advance and for festivals as a house VJ, you might be one of a dozen shows I'm doing that day. Asking me to perform specific actions live during the set that I may or may not have prepared for is extremely stressful. So please, send us some instructions beforehand and we'll prep to the best of our ability. Then come chat with us before the show, confirm any of the details, make sure we're on the same page, and we'll do our best during the show. But if you feel the need to backseat drive and micromanage every moment of the show, you probably should hire a VJ. That said, we welcome instructions and feedback. Just please don't yell at us about anything really, but especially about lights, lasers, or sound. Uh, that's not me. You're a dick. And it's a fucking party, dude. Relax. Treat others as you would like to be treated and you'll get much better results. And lastly, this one is for the production companies. The final and most common way to piss off your VJ is lack of basic accommodations. Yes, we do need table space. Yes, we need power. Yes, I would like to see the screen. A chair would be nice and water and shade and uh, an accessible bathroom. You know what? <laughs> Let's just call it basic human necessities. That should cover it. We really should not have any situations where anyone in any department shows up to a gig to do a 12 hour day outside in the sun and does not have access to basic human necessities and the basic amenities required to do their job. So that's 10 ways to annoy your VJ and a couple of tips on how to avoid them. I hope you learned something about how to better work with your VJ. Please drop your pet peeves and your tips in the comments. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and come back later for more videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.